everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make this puppy. Now why do you need another puppy balloon? Well, I think you can never have enough puppy balloons. I don't like giving out the same balloon over and over and over again. Puppies are a very common request, and so I like to have several puppies in my repertoire so that I can give each child a different puppy. So this puppy takes just two balloons and a scrap of white, so contrasting colors I've chosen mocha and black. Uh, it uses a standard dog body, so it's going to be fairly simple and quick, uh, which is nice. Um, it uses this muzzle design that I used on my tiger, uh, and I'm calling this a demi pinch twist. I don't know if it has a technical term, uh, but demi means partial or sort of. Um, and that's kind of what this is, is a, a half pinch twist. So I'll, let me explain what I mean. Okay, if you have a link of two like this, like the muzzle of the dog, and you were to pinch twist this. You'd pull them apart and you'd twist one in one direction, one in the other, and you'd be bringing the top here and the bottom here together into one twist. So you're bringing them all the way together and twisting them around. In a demi pinch twist, I want to bring them halfway together. And I'm going to do that by using some uninflated balloon and pulling it around. And that's going to bring the top and the bottom closer together, halfway together, but not all the way together. And so it's a demi pinch twist. Um, and so that is how I get this shape for the muzzle. Uh, the other cool thing about this design is you do not need to break off the black balloon until you get to the end. So we're going to start at one ear, up to the top of the head. We're going to come down uninflated, out to the nose uninflated, make our bubble for the nose. Squeeze the air out again, back to the back, halfway up, then out to the front here and make the eyes. Squeezing the air out again, back to the back, up to the top, and then make our last ear. So ear, down, nose, back, eyes, back, ear. So all one balloon. You don't have to break it off until you get to the very end here. All right, uh, go ahead and grab your balloons. One dark, one dark, one light, and one white. And let's get started. All right, we've got uh, contrasting colored balloons um, and a scrap of white. We are going to start with the darker of the two balloons. And I'm not going to put very much in this. I'm leaving most of it uninflated. I'm going to start by bending it, doing in a squeeze and a bend, almost like I was making a loop um, but I'm not going to connect those together. I'm just going to make actually a pair of small pinch twists here. Like that. Okay, that's one ear. Take the other balloon and inflate it with a good seven-ish finger tail. So a little bit past halfway, but not much. I'm going to start with a pinch twist that will be on the back of the head. Um, let's go ahead and inflate the white while we're at it. You don't need much air in this at all. And I'm going to attach this to the pinch twist here. Now, if you want, you can twist these two balloons together, up the head, down the head, uh, but I prefer the, to do them separately. So I'm going to do, it's a um, little bit more, almost four fingers, almost four fingers, a conservative four fingers. And then I'm going to attach the ears like that. And then back down, okay, try and get those two to match, and into the pinch twist. Now the reason that I do the eyes and the head separately is because when I do the eyes, I'm going to squeeze a lot of the air out so that, whew, boy that's squeaky, I'm going to squeeze the air out so that the eyes are not fully inflated. Okay. 
point. And what that does is that makes it just so that you can see the head on either side of the eyes so that they're not, these are not as, as, uh, as full as those. It's just my personal preference. If you're going for speed, um, if you're going for speed, then I would say definitely twist them at the same time, and that will definitely make this faster. Tie that off. Whoop! That came undone there. Let's redo that. Okay. That pinch twist goes in the back of the head. We're going to do oh, uh, three and a half-ish, maybe just a little bit shorter than the, the top of the head. And same thing, coming back. Okay, so that's the muzzle, the snout. Now I'm going to take the balloon, I'm going to put it on top of the snout, and I am going to squeeze, 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 squeeze the air out, out to the front of the nose. And I'm going to twist it right there. Now I'm going to make a small bubble right there. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the air out and take it back to the back. And that's okay if that happens where the air has kind of gone into that part where I squeezed it out. That's fine. Okay. And twist that around a few times. So now the neck is coming out right there. I'm going to take this bubble here and I am now going to pinch twist it. So grab it and give it a twist. And that's what gives that muzzle that shape there. Now the rest of this, just make a standard dog body. Give it a short neck. Front legs. Um, if you want, you can pass this through the legs. That keeps the legs from coming undone. Do a short body. And back legs. That. Okay. Now we need to do the black balloon. This is the tricky part. Okay, I'm going to take it on the back of the head. I'm going to squeeze the air out and take it down to the uh, the pinch twist there. Okay. And I'll take it around there once. And I've hidden the uninflated part. I don't know if you can see that. I've hidden the uninflated part inside the head. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing out to the muzzle. Squeeze the air out and take it all the way out to the muzzle, out to the front. Twist it there a few times. And then make a bubble there and pinch twist it. Now squeeze the air out, squeeze the air out, squeeze the air out, and take it back to the pinch twist in the back of the head. I'm going to position the nose on top of the muzzle there. So I went on the top, pinch twist, and then around the front. So it goes around the front here and back to the back. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze air out. Like I was going to attach it here, but I'm not going to attach it now. I'm going to twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. And then I'm going to make a bubble. And I'm going to pinch twist that bubble. Now I'm going to, again, squeeze air out. And now I'm going to twist it around the top here. Now this is going to be split in two and become the eyes. And what I need to do is I need to push it through the back of the head to the front of the head. so that it's coming out in front there. Now, I'm going to take that bubble and I'm going to just twist it in two. Just like that. Let's go ahead and make the other ear to match the first ear. Something like that. Break that off. Tie it off. Now the reason we did the two pinch twists on top is because that 
that gets the air sticking off straight to the side. If you don't do that, if you only put one on the top, then the ears tend to flop forward, uh, which is fine. It can actually be a very cute look. Uh, you can position these eyeballs up or down. Um, you've got to have enough slack in that black balloon that's going from the bottom of the head to the top of the head. Uh, position the neck. Okay, so in the back, you should have the pinch twist centered there, the neck centered coming out there. That's what he looks like in front. May have made that ear a little short, that's okay. And that is your cute, fancy, two balloon and a scrap puppy. Hope you like it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.